The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. I now introduce you to another great American, a long-time friend of mine, someone who I worked with, and yes, there was a great right-wing conspiracy, Hillary, only if we're doing it right, to impeach uh, Bill Clinton, Billy. He was the one who first submitted articles of impeachment. He was an individual who wanted to expand the impeachment process to not just Monica Lewinsky, but to China Gate, getting bribed from China, Travel Gate, uh, firing the travel office in the White House because they didn't serve Billy's ends at the time, and a host of other scandals. I introduce you to a former congressman from Georgia. He's running again for Congress. He's also the former U.S. attorney from the Northern District of Georgia, the place where I went to law school at uh, Emory University. I'm very proud to announce and to introduce you to, if you don't, if you need an introduction, to my friend Bob Barr. Bobby! All right, Mr. Barr. Thank you, Larry. Well, here we are again. Back again. Back again. It is wonderful to be here under old glory and under the Lord's fine day here in front of the White House where probably they're not listening. But I want you to join with me today and with these other great speakers and great Americans all here today to recommit ourselves to reclaim America. You know, Larry was kind enough to mention that I did serve as a United States attorney down in Georgia, my home state. What he didn't mention is that that was a position to which I was appointed by the greatest president of the 20th century, Ronald Reagan. One of the reasons I suspect that President Reagan appointed me as his United States attorney, aside from my warm and soft personality and my good looks, is the fact that I know a scoundrel when I see one. And I've dealt with scoundrels as U.S. attorney, with con artists and drug dealers and money launderers, murderers, rapists. And when I had the honor of serving, as Larry also mentioned, as the congressman from Georgia's 7th District, I met up with another scoundrel. He lived over there. I know a scoundrel when I see one. And folks, we have a scoundrel living in that building right now, and we need to do something about it. All of us here, I'm sure, have spent some time in our great Capitol building, for which you have to go through guards and stuff nowadays. But back in the good old days, you could walk in and wander around and look at the statues of great Americans and the paintings and the sayings on the wall, the inscriptions. Well, there's one inscription on the walls of the interior of the United States Capitol building that comes to my mind these days, as it probably does to the minds of many of us. And they're words that were penned about 85 years ago by a judge, Judge Louis Brandeis. And he wrote back in 1928 that the greatest dangers to liberty lurk in the insidious encroachments by men of goodwill, by men of zeal, of goodwill, but without understanding. Folks, these folks nowadays do not understand the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence penned by this man. They don't understand America. You understand America. Larry Clayman understands America. And we have to do everything we can to wake these characters up. And if they are slumbering so badly, if they are so somnambulant that they won't wake up, then get rid of them. Very simple. Well, here we are again, Larry. Larry and I were together 16 years ago in November of 1997. And on November 5th of 1997, Larry joined with me. He wasn't a member of Congress then, which he had been. But he joined with me and 
All we could get was 18 members of Congress at that time to sign on to a certain document that we introduced, that I introduced in the U.S. Congress, the U.S. House of Representatives on that day, November 5th of 1997. And it was something called an inquiry of impeachment. Larry, I dusted it off the other day. I saved a copy of it. And I looked at it. And I made a few changes to it. And I want to read it here today and see if you all agree that it might be worthwhile. Whereas considerable evidence has been developed from a broad array of credible sources that Barack Hussein Obama, President of the United States, has engaged in a systemic effort to obstruct, undermine, and compromise the legitimate and proper functions and processes of the executive branch, and has violated his oath of office to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, including his obligation under Article 2, Section 2, that he shall take care that the laws be faithfully executed, which, by the way, constituted the basis on which at least one article of impeachment against President Richard M. Nixon was approved by the Committee on the Judiciary of the House of Representatives on July 29th of 1974. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Committee on the Judiciary is directed to investigate and report to the House whether grounds exist to impeach Barack Hussein Obama, President of the United States. Upon completion of such investigation, that committee shall report to the House its recommendations with respect thereto, including, if the committee so determines, a resolution of impeachment. Does that sound like something that needs to be dusted off and reintroduced? Well, go up to the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue, as Larry and I and so many other Americans did back in 1997, and demand that they do something about it. The ball is in their court, and let's make sure they pick it up and they run with it. And be it stated, be it remembered that it started here today, November 19th of 2013, just as it did on November 5th of 1997, that Americans for generations to come will look back and say, yes, good and faithful servants, you did your duty. We thank you, and we will carry that torch forever into the future. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Larry, for bringing us together. Thank you. Barack Obama is not the president. He's a fraud. Get your bum out. That's it. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.